Welcome back. It's been two weeks. Long trip, a lot of miles. Got the uh, bathroom remodeled. Got to spend some time with some old military friends. But uh, back home, Independence Day. Probably won't be able to get much done today. Going to do the normal, spend time with more friends. Then do some barbecuing hamburgers, fireworks, normal nonsense. Uh, but it's going to be a busy week as far as friends coming in from out of town and just other projects outside of the projects we get to do for fun. So I'm going to try to do a bunch of little things this week, I think. We're going to do mostly on the 350. Let's see if we can't get uh, that front emblem shaved. We have our new ignition coils, because uh, that's our last code that's stored. So we uh, I got all six, we replaced those, new spark plugs, uh, clear our codes, run a test drive. They did get the road, well it's not done, they did get some of the road construction done, at least to the end of our road. So I should be able to sneak the car out because um, it wouldn't have made it over the lip during construction. It, it just wouldn't, it's, they, uh, they, they've ripped the whole thing out and they've graded it. So it was uh, about an eight inch lift. Uh, it wouldn't get out, but we should be able to get it out now, get a little test drive in it, see if it throws any other codes. Uh, maybe run the, the mini bikes a little bit. Mm. Got to repair pig pen gate, which I won't really record any of that, man. I'll show it to you, I suppose. Uh, I had an old chain link set up on it. This is just what we had, old chain link gate. But they, you know, they pushed through it. It's been a few years, so they finally pushed through it. It's just had too many little repairs. Uh, we'll weld up some one by one or one and a half by one and a half steel tubing will weld up a gate uh, I got some hog panel weld some hog panel to that we'll throw that up we won't record a bunch of that uh, I hope you guys had a good Independence Day this is of course a week after for you I'm sure I'm gonna have a good Independence Day so it's your Monday put the wife to bed put the kids to bed grab yourself a ginger ale and let's watch a show It's warm out today. That stuff is soft. Whew. It's a hot one today, boys. It's uh, even hotter outside. This is a nice insulated garage. We're over 90. I did forget to mention before uh, I put the fiberglass resin jelly on there. Uh, you know, we cleaned the area. We scuffed the area. We cleaned it again. But uh, mistake I made, not mixing enough. Don't make the same mistake I've made. Just probably mix up more than you need. Because who cares, man? The whole jug's like 20 bucks. 21 maybe just mix up more than you need throw out the extra save yourself 25 minutes 35 minutes because I'll have to sand it just make more than you need I'll be back after this sits for 25 ish minutes or isn't tacky anymore and I can 
Don't give her the, give her, uh, the old sandy sandy. And apply more. Well guys, that's it for today. I don't have any 400 sandpaper, any 600 sandpaper. I don't have any Bondo or glazing putty here. So, I mean, I guess we're just gonna go shoot off some fireworks, enjoy some fireworks, celebrate Independence Day, America, and uh, I'll have to pick up that other stuff. We'll finish up that emblem uh, probably tomorrow. Well, maybe not, depends. Maybe tomorrow. So, until then. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, new day. But the day's pretty much over. We had to go get hog feed. So we had to go to town. We started a little late anyways. Doing our other things. Fixed the gate for the hog pen. So now we can get Get back on that guy right there. Uh, but we don't have much time. We got friends as well coming to visit. We'll be going out to dinner with them, so maybe we'll get an hour. We'll throw some quick Bondo on there. Uh, maybe give it a light sand. Hopefully get our glazing putty put on. We're going to wash the BMW in between because it rained. Everything's muddy. Everything's dirty. But we, we're happy for the rain. And it didn't rain out the fireworks, so win-win. But uh, so we're just going to knock that stuff out in between. Back and forth, back and forth between the two cars. Hopefully we can get a bunch done in about an hour.
we're not car detailers by any means. We just keep our cars clean. But I'll tell you, I've used this for 15-ish years. Invisible glass. If you get anything out of this, pick it up. You can get it like Walmart, AutoZone. Pick up uh, Invisible Glass by Stoner. Cheap 30 cent micro, uh, microfiber from Walmart. And uh, shit your windows with that. You'll thank me. It's great stuff. So this car's washed and she should, feels like she's cured enough to do some sanding. So let's hit that with a quick sand. In the place where you live. So we got her pretty smooth. We're just gonna step up and grit from here, get rid of all of our sanding marks, and then see if we need to use any glazing compound. Now I should have specified before, but I never did. I'm no body man. I'm, well, I've already told you, I'm not even really a mechanic. I just fix things, and if I don't know how to do it, I look on the internet till I find the best explanation that I understand. But, uh, so we've sanded all the way to 320. Uh, we haven't done any glazing yet. I think I'm going to hit it up with uh, a little primer so then I can do a guide coat later, tomorrow. We're already out of time. Um, and just make sure I didn't leave any actual low spots. There's a, you know, the whole front bumper is a contour, so you can't really use a hard block. So I, I use my, my flexible block and just do my best. So... But uh, I'll show you what it looks like right now before I hit it with the primer. And then I'm just going to hit it with uh, some primer and call her a day. So uh, I'll show you this and then uh, see you tomorrow. So that's currently where we're at. It is nice and smooth now, at least to the touch, to feel. But uh, like I said, I'll hit it with a guide coat. Because also this bumper was just an OEM. One that I got online, so... It's not the most high-end thing either. And there's some other low spots that I, I may fill. But uh, I may not. I may not because it doesn't even fit quite right. I still got to do some fitment. But all right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. There you have it, guys. Nice smooth shave. I didn't end up having to use any glazing putty. I was able to... Get it out nicely with just the Bondo. But that'll be it, man. We're not going to get much done this week. Too many uh, friends coming from out of town. We've run out of time. I do have to run one of these. And uh, YouTube doesn't allow us to show that, obviously. Uh, but we'll build out one of those. Knock out this stuff, spend some time with some friends over the weekend, and uh, start again next week. We'll get, we'll get a lot more done next week. Not being a holiday weekend, not being a short week. We'll get more done. You know, but if, if you got some value out of the content, at least you got to sit back and have yourself a ginger ale and relax. You know, go ahead and send us a, a like or a subscribe or both. Doesn't really hurt you. Helps me. But, uh, yeah, remember, man, you can make excuses or you can make results, but you can't make both.